Hey boys and girls, my name is Fagnumpy, and today we're going to be breaking down the new Assassin's Creed teaser. So, first things first, we know it's going to be in uh, Ancient Greece, because it's called Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and there's a little Greek helmety boy there, and there's a good old Greek letter there, just alpha. So, time frame? Well... That, that's that's a good question. The first thing that you might think of is like the old Homerian epics that you read back in ancient literature. But no, 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 no. We can't have that. I am pretty sure, 99% sure, I've been informed by all of the inside people that it is going to be around 300 BC in the time of Alexander the Great. However, I'm not sure what role Alexander is going to play as he's not really a bad guy in history so I think that it is more likely that you will be working alongside him similar to the way you did in Assassin's Creed Origins with Caesar and Cleopatra although I mean you do kinda end up killing Caesar but I don't think that will happen with Alexander well I mean he does die in the end though as for who we're playing as that's not much we can speculate but we will find out at E3, which is like only a week or two away, but I think we need to watch the teaser first, so here, here you go. And that's it, yeah. Whoa! That was very explanatory. I already see a lot of things we can grab from this trailer. First, and most obviously, is that there are two assumedly dudes here because we know, you know, you can't assume their genders, obviously. It's, it's ancient Greece. Who are wearing armor. Greek armor. And here you can see a pretty good close-up of this guy. And he's got that good old uh, muscle plate there going on. With his super tight abs. And it looks like they're both going to be wearing some good old Greek or Macedonian armor there. However, we can see by the coloration of them, this boy's red and this boy's blue, that they're probably not on the same side. Also, the boy that's getting kicked off, he kind of has a left-to-right comb, and the other guy has a front-to-back comb, which is also different. We can see in the close-up here that the red boy has a bow, but, fun fact, that's not really a... Greek bow. That's more of a compound. Why did I say compound? That's that's retarded. I'm sorry. Composite bow, which is from the Parthians in the Middle East. So the Greek bows were called uh, toxa, which are like more long bowy kind of stuff. However, these boys, by looking at their armor, they're probably pretty high up in the ranks, you know. So they probably could have gotten Parthian bows if they wanted. And same thing with the blue boy, because as I'm about to go into, his spear is not a Greek spear. Uh, the Greek uh, thrusting spear was called a doru, and they had a long pike called the sarissa. However, they both had leaf-shaped tips, and the blue boy has a very broad tip here on his spear. So that's not Greek either. But after that boring stuff, I mean, come on, we got to get that out of the way obviously, because this is an explanation and uh, speculation video. We can talk about the good stuff now. So first off, we can in fact confirm the existence of plants in this video game, because as you can see here, there is quite clearly a tree up here, and there is moss on the rocks, which, by the way, that confirms that there's rocks in this game, as well as mountains back here, the ocean, more trees in the background, as you can see these little tall boys back there and it looks like there's some uh, buildings back there so cities in the game are confirmed as well so I think that that is everything that we need to make a good Assassin's Creed game plants rocks cities trees mountains and oceans well maybe maybe not oceans however there's not much else besides that that we can get from this obviously we'll see a lot more at E3 however there is one thing that I should point out is that, I mean, it's kind of a, an unimportant detail, but I think that it, 
it holds quite a bit more significance than you might think. Pretty much the only way you can see this detail is by being one of those select few who has the sharpened mind by, you know, watching all three seasons of Rick and Morty back to back. And so if we zoom down here, right on the bottom on this rock, we're zooming in and we can see a secret message.